Alright, so let's kick this live stream off <laughs> now that we've seen the intro bit. Uh, so we have the UEF, which are more tanky. They like to fortify and hold the line with really, really big guns. And um, they're more of a modern or a futuristic version of, um, I don't want to say NATO, but pretty much what Earth Forces should be. And then we have the Aeon Illuminate, which is a religious cult. They want to brainwash everybody. And then we have the Cybern, which are cybernetic cyborg humans. Really weird. Just managing spiders with guns. All right. So uh, for this series, uh, or for playing through, we're going to play as the Aeon. Should be loads of fun. We'll see. So let's play. I don't know how the hell this happened. But those bastards found us. They've made Planetfall and are attacking Fort Clark and the outlying civilian centers. This is the end of the road for us, Commander. Fort Clark is our last base of operations, and all of our evacuation routes have been severed. If we falter today, the Seraphim and their lackeys will have free reign to butcher every last human in the galaxy. We have no other choice but to dig in and hold the line. General Fletcher is already leading the defense of Fort Clark. We want to open up a second front, which is why you're gating in south of his position. This is your LZ. Sorry about that, guys. There are two order bases at this location. Welcome, everybody, They're the stream. providing reinforcements for the order's assault on Fort Clark. You will destroy all order structures and then push inland. Continue north until you link up with Fletcher. Once the siege on Fort Clark has been lifted, the two of you will directly assault and destroy the Seraphim commander. Failure is not an option, Commander. Okay, so we are going to be playing as the Aeon Illuminate, just because I haven't played them in the campaign yet. Um, yeah, let's begin. And sorry about that little freeze. I was refreshing uh, the Twitch, so I had to uh, off-click on my other screen. So that's why it froze, probably there for a second. Uh, the sound hopefully still kept going. So yeah, let's begin. This is going to be fun playing on hard. Oh my god, I hope you... You guys have some popcorn. It's going to be a while. This is one of the two enemy bases in the area. Blow them both back to the Stone Age and then sync up with Fletcher. There's a line of enemy artillery protecting the bases. They are targets of opportunity. But if you destroy them, it'll make your life a hell of a lot easier. Once you deal with the primary base, well, they... Ah, hell. Enemy gunships are inbound. It's time to get you down there while we still can. Damn it, they're attacking the gate. Get on planet while you still can. Commander under attack. Was a little too close for comfort get it done commander I'm gonna pause real quick i forgot to actually update my twitch to letting everybody know i'm actually playing when i'm playing so just give me a moment uh let's edit that real quick Come on. There we go. There we go. And let's see. I forgot. Sorry about this, guys. I haven't streamed in a while. Okay, there we go. All done. Now we can get back to the game. Sorry about that. I do apologize. Let's get this started. I got my eyes on you, Aeon. I haven't forgotten what you people did during the war. Oh, you can just... 
Pay him no mind, champion. Bring glory to the princess. Alright, now I'm done messing with Twitch. Now it's all set up. Now we can continue on. The damage shield generator right, will help see. protect you from hostile fire. Repair it. HQ out. Very, very hard. You guys over there. Yeah, there's all this. That's not even the whole map. This is just like a tenth of it. It's so small. Commander, you have received the schematic for the blaze. It's lightly armored, but it packs some impressive firepower. Riza out. I like firepower. So that's not good. We already lost two of them. No. Can't lose the other one. I'm done work on that. We gotta quickly get to tech two so we get some shields online. Or it's gonna be a very, very short fight. So, is everybody enjoying the stream? I hope you are. Alright, get to tech two. Enemy bombers, here we go. So many bombers, go away. You stay on that shield. So the engineer, not only is he repairing the shield generator, but he's also reinforcing the shield. So it's a good thing to do. So we have a couple people actually in the stream. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream. Uh, I do want to do a lot more streams. I'm just a bit busy. I do apologize busy and hardly any time all right we need some more AA guns I do want to apologize if I don't talk a lot during this this, this game I have to Once the shield goes online, this is gonna get very hectic real quick, and I want to make sure I am ready so I'm gonna do a lot of thinking so Hopefully you're, in, you're gonna still enjoy the stream An order commander named Gari awaits you champion She is one of evaluator Kale's most beloved disciples Eliminate her in the name of the princess Ryza out Okay. Get some flack. <laughs> Sorry about that.
now we have that covered and shields. Good. Because if that thing blows up, it's like a little tactical nuke. It's not good. So we gotta keep them covered. Then again, the Tech 3 power generators are even worse. There. Excellent. The shield is fully repaired and operating at full capacity. HQ out. I'll keep my commander uh, in that shield up. A, they're going to have a lot of guys coming at me right now. Enemy subs are operating in the channel north of your LZ, Commander. Destroy them. HQ out. Okay, bring on the bombers. Where are the bombers at? They're not bombers. The gunships. They should be swarming with gunships soon. Ooh. Five is now following me. Thank you, man. Thank you. And welcome, and hopefully you enjoyed the stream. So many gunships. Doing there, Sierra. You enjoy the stream. Oh, man, that, that's just inside. Whew, okay. okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Shield up, that shield up. Oh, keep that shield up. Yeah, just spam those. Yeah, I could. And where's the fun in that, though? Then again, I really can't spam them at the moment because I don't have a lot of mass or anything. I'm trying to hold off against 
well, swarms of gunships. But once I get that up and running, you, you bet you I'm gonna do that. All I plan is to cyber in this mission because I've built about 20 Soul Reapers, maybe even more than that, and I would just go out and rampage and kill everything. Okay, we gotta get some air support, like, right now. Okay. Best thing about us, uh, oh, do we, we don't even have it? Okay. Looks like I don't even have the uh, Tech 2 fighter yet. Hmm, I find that a little hard to believe. But we should get get more AA. I agree. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But I'm also trying to get some air superiority. I want to make sure I have I'm control of the sky. Once I can do that, and then I can start building on my navy and everything else. Our fighters are actually doing quite a bit of damage. Let's get those guys back on there. Build me some point defenses here. That's to help against their uh, land forces that are actually going across the water. Those trading bastards. Yeah, they have tech two spirit uh, and uh, yeah, they have tech two fighters. Not even fair. Looks like with all my AA fighters and everything, I'm able to hold that shield. Those tech two combat fighters look so much better. Once these guys are done building, I'm gonna go straight to Tech 3. You know, get Tech 3 on um, upgrade planes to build T3. Yeah, that's true. But right now, my commander is the only thing holding that shield up. I'm starting to think that you don't have the stomach to fight your own kind. Are 
you going to destroy those bases or what? Yeah, I have a some point. Drop it on him. Okay, I'm just gonna have everybody move through there. Hold up the shield, that way the commander can get some upgrades. Sort of quiet now. Hopefully we can hold on. Say that now. Here comes the next wave. So yeah, the shields are they're stable. They're not going anywhere. Now we need to check three without a problem. Some of those artillery positions are still operational. HQ out. to maintain this air superiority. It's a half to it's a must. So I'm gonna go to tech three air first. What difficulty are I'm on the hardest difficulty. Why? Because I'm insane and I like to hurt myself. Yeah we're playing on the hardest difficulty here. I was gonna play out with a mod that just makes the graphic improvement, like the explosion and stuff, but it just wasn't working. So, playing vanilla. I do believe my antenna is in. Uh, we need radar. We need radar now. Something must have fell and crashed into it. Right to ASFs or air superiority fighters. You build a couple dozen of those, and that should be able to hold whatever it is in the skies, hopefully. If I only had the Tech 2 fighter, it would be so much easier. And now we can see him coming in. Shield.
All right, build me some air superiority fighters, please. Make it snappy. I swear, I'm hearing a cat meow. All right, Commander, you get on this too. Help out. I'm on the hardest difficulty. Let's get the commander going to the next tier. Don't chase him. Do not chase him. Ooh. Just to help out the ASFs, I'll give them some backup light ones. Uh, mixing matching having a few uh, tech 3 fighters and a, uh, a couple of tech ones actually is a good thing it just I don't know why it just is yeah that's why there's non-stop waves I'm on the hardest difficulty It's gonna get a lot worse, trust me. Of these and then a couple of these. Hey, I gotta move my monitor. I can barely see your guys' names. All right, here we go. I have no uh, clue what's happening. Um, explosions, death, and a lot more explosions. Um, I'm sorry that your internet's crapping out, man. I'm sorry. in the air. There's just too many.
Are we winning? Um, define winning. I, you mean that we still alive? Yes. Yes, we're winning. Are we pushing the back? Hell no. Not yet, anyway. Once I get to the big guns, and yes, we will start winning this real quickly. And then there's bloody planes flying overhead. Sorry about the noise outside. I can't stop it. Well, thank you, uh, cross, crossbow, I'm just gonna say crossbow. Uh, thank you, yeah, stay alive does count. Awesome, well then, yes, we are winning. Because now we're gonna bring out the big guns. Try to, anyway. Fast, I can pump those out. It's something. Alright, so we're gonna definitely need more mass. We need more of everything. Now, if one of these go off, it's a nuke. It's a fusion reactor. So if it goes boom, we'll know. We'll know. No, 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 no. Them skulls, no. We're getting, you know, they're just tech one. They're not that good. Okay. Definitely not a good thing. And see something? I looked away, something went boom over there. I get this AA back up, or the shield back up online. And that AA gun back up online.
right, the Czar is almost ready to go. The Czar is kind of like the ship from Independence Day. That's the beam on the bottom that destroys their... Oh, yeah, it's, it's good. Then there's the Galactic Colossus, or also known as the Surrender Bot. When you see it coming, you just hand up and go Are you kidding me? Now they have air superiority fires? Oh, well, this is done. Our fighters are so desperate to try to hold the ground, but they can't do it. I can't hold it. Oh, they're shooting at my Zaz. Zar. They're, they're shooting at it. No! Get off. Oh, yeah. Now nah, it's online. And it has anti air capability, so it's win win for everybody. Stay. Let's help them finish that up. There's more of them. Yeah, their base, uh, one of their bases. Uh, the map you're seeing right now from here to here is probably. 50 miles if you were to do it real scale and this is one ninth I want to say one ninth or a quarter of the map the rest of the map when it expands our submission gets bigger and bigger and bigger so we're gonna be here for a little while Here we go. <laughs> I love this thing. And the best part about it is if it dies over an enemy base and falls, whatever is below it just dies. Or very close to dying. No, get back here. Get back here. I like your enthusiasm, but we don't need to go into that crazy. Then we have the this is the Galactic Colossus, the Surrender Bot. Scary thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, if he starts to die, I gotta move him. So, uh, Crossbow, are you actually enjoying the stream? Start 
Start it up, start it up, start it up. Oh, come on. Guys, okay, just stay out of the way. Just stay out of the way. Let him start it. Jeez. The AI is just... It's kind of hard to hear me over the pew, 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 boom. Yeah. That tends to happen. I can turn it down, though. Hopefully that's a little better. It's definitely a lot faster. So we're already 37 minutes into the mission, and we haven't even beat the first obstacle yet. Way better. Cool. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is take out almost all the objectives, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up uh, a base over on that side of the river, because the rest of the mission onwards from here is going to be all in that landmass. So I want to have a base of operations over there. That's why I'm building no land units because I want to wait for that until I get over there. I'm just pretty, pretty much building up my economy. That way when I do get over there, I can then just mass produce troops and just keep pushing the fight and not stop. So it takes a lot of time for the build up but once we get past that it just goes like dominoes and it's going to go a lot faster. I'm just trying to prepare for what's better. Or what's... <laughs> looked over. <laughs> uh, just trying to prepare for what comes next. And that's a lot of superiority fighters. Oh my god. Hit him with the flak. <laughs> Thanks for the free mass. Thank you, sir. Now I think one more should do. Yeah, I, I like money too. Money is good. Also, I want to try to set up my navy. The Aeon has some pretty cool navy. The UEF has the best navy, in my opinion. Then again, I'm loyal to the UEF. I just want to try something different, play as Aeon. Um, yeah, the Aeon's not bad if they're navy. It's pretty cool. All right, how are we doing? Almost done. I would speed up the game, but then it will start to lag if you go too fast. Let's get these guys... Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Let's get them back here. And let's start getting ready to build our navy. Ooh, these saucers of doom.
Alright, so let's go and take out this uh, artillery installation. Then we're going to go into the base and really screw some things up. First artillery position is destroyed. HQ out. Remember, if these things get destroyed, they'll fall on the enemy too. So it's a double win for everybody. So for the power generator, watch this thing. This game's gonna go boom. Yep, yeah, still got everything around it. Alright, so this air base is supplying a lot of those land units, so that's done. You must die. Zap. Confirming that the second artillery position has been destroyed. Yeah, you can talk with these things. Pretty much. I'm trying to take out these artillery installations. Shoot it! Shoot! Thank you. Another artillery battery is toast. Just one more to go. HQ out. I'm take out most of this base, but I'll, I'll leave these ones intact. Because if you complete it, you go on to the next mission. And I'm not That's ready to yet. All the artillery positions are down. HQ out. Yeah, that guy doesn't seem happy to talk to an alien. Now let's take out the support commander. Now we have control. Now we have room to breathe and expand and be just be ready. And the reason I'm uh, building a navy right now is because 
later on you will have to fight against a significant large navy and I just want to be ready for that Close enough, darn. Get a uh, Tech 3 sonar and then Tech 3 radar. Uh, control K, I believe it is. Yep. So we don't need uh, that one. Because it's just actually quicker to build a new one. So you're from you're from my Discord? Is that what you're saying? Once you answer that question, then yes, I'll help you gladly, gladly. But are you from my Discord, or are you from a different Discord? HUD buds. Okay. Um. Yeah. So mods for Sins of the Solar Empire Rebellion. Those are the best mods. Um, Sins of the Prophets, Sins of the Galactic Empire, and then there's another Star Wars one I can't remember. There was another good one that was uh, still being worked on, but it got a, a C and D. I did a review on it. I did a couple episodes. It was the Sins of the Empires. It was an Eve Online total conversion, and I'm pretty sure the videos are yeah the videos are still up there. You can check them out on my channel later on. Um, they're there, and it was pretty cool. I loved it. Uh, it's just sad that they got a cease and desist for no particular reason. Which is funny because even though they got it, there's other communities building mods for other games with the Eve mod, with making it into Eve, and they didn't get it. But, yeah, that's how it works. Um, We're going to lose Fort Clark unless you get on with it. Destroy those bases. So yeah, those those would be the ones I recommend. Um, if you want to later on after the stream is over, I would ha be ha more than happy to talk to you one on one. But yeah, the ones I would recommend is Sins of the Prophets, which is a Halo total conversion, which is excellent. I'm actually friends with the mod developers. Um, uh, they're really cool guys. They are always working on the mod, always improving it. And um, from what I've heard, there's a few cool updates coming that they're tell talk to me about. Can't tell you what, but trust me, they're good. Um, the Sins of the Galactic Empire is a Star Wars total conversion that adds, even adds in the Yuuzhan Vong from the original before Disney screwed everything up. So that's pretty good. Let's see what we have in Tech 3. Nothing I really want to get into right now. So, uh,. Crossbow that I that I help you out any. I hope.
that's gotta hurt. Try and get this Tech 3 missiles. Come on. What are the flood like? Uh, terrifying. Very terrifying. Um. Just terrifying. <laughs> oh, God. Find the flood is ridiculous. Um, I've seen someone lose. I think they lost the infinity to the flood. <laughs> so the flood, the flood took over the infinity, turned around and started shooting all this stuff. Yeah, uh, Sierra is having some trouble with his internet. Um, I don't know what to say to that other than he really needs to get it fixed. Once he has it fixed, oh, he, he's a good player. He just, the internet's giving out on him. Funny, this thing can actually take out guys in the water too. It sends out torpedoes. Boom! Yeah, the flood in that game is hard. It really is. That's why they actually. Out of the way, you can prepare your assault against the order's positions on the mainland. HQ out. That's why um, they actually have a mode in that game where it's actually called flood survival. The flood just expand conquer worlds and you got to hold them off um shields do not protect you if you're the covenant the only way to fight effectively against the flood or at least their infest uh, infestation because they use the spores and they count as a fighter so you either want to have a lot of fighters or if you're the unsc you want the star Wars class i think it is it's the anti-fighter frigate that's your best option um, I don't know much about the Covenant's uh, anti-air because I'm a UNSC player all the way. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know how else. There's really no other way to do it. And uh, once you have all their spores out, then you got to worry about the ships they've conquered because it just gets insane. Because I think they ha there's a thing in there that the Flood don't have a population cap. So if you leave them alone too long and they keep capturing all the other NPCs throughout the map and other players' ships, you're just going to have this huge armada on your doorstep and you're not going to be able to fight it off. So yeah, you want to be defensive, but you also really want to be aggressive. Oh, those little bastards, they rebuilt.
All right, I'm gonna take out the engineers. Easy, easy. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. Now let's bring him back. Yeah, it is horrifying when the flood just outnumber you and you can't do anything about it. Let's give our commander a personal shield and then we will get ready to move on over to the mainland. System enabled. Sweet. Uh, just for extra measure, let's give him a good gun. We're gonna need it. And we'll give these things as support and cover. We're gonna land right about here and set up an FOB. As for you guys, I want you to keep doing what you're doing. Let's land on the beach. We're storming the beaches, man. Here we go. We can't let the commander die because if he dies crashes or explodes we start all over again so we gotta keep them covered all right landing somewhere in there all right back to base for you and actually for the tech three guys i want you guys to build me more power And I need more mass fabricators. I just gotta keep a good economy. Alright, let's get you going. I'm gonna need subs. Lots of subs. Yes, D-Day! Speaking of D-Day, the best D-Day in a movie, and I'm going for a sci-fi, because if you go by the best D-Day in a movie, that would be Save a Pirate Ryan. But the best D-Day sci-fi movie I've ever seen is, I think, the, oh, the Edge of Tomorrow, I think it is, with uh, Tom Cruise, where they're fighting against those weird aliens that repeat the days over and over that was cool that invasion the whole thing was just epic boom I love upgraded weapons all right so we're probably gonna set up right about in here so we're gonna go in Yeah, that was it was a great movie. System System okay, I want you to capture it, not blow it up. Oh god. Okay, so we're going to put down a shield generator right here. This is where we're going to set up shop.
picks up the artillery in a minute. Now, I want to go straight to just Tech 3 and get it over with. Um, sadly, the ground forces for the Aeon, I'm not a huge fan. The best thing I could do is build Galactic Colossus. I don't think I have en enough. M maybe. Once they're done building economy, I might be able to. Let's put guys over there just to protect the commander. Now what I like to do is I set up my initial FOB and then I'll set points around it. That way if I start getting attacked, they can hold off a little bit so I can get air in there to grab my commander and bring him out. Because I just got back from playing Sith 5 and Night. What am I been up to today? You're looking at it. Have fun playing games. <laughs> Oh, I love games. Gaming is fun. Don't shoot. Go grab him. Not that. That. Oi. Scratch one of the bases, HQO. Anyways, like I was saying, I like to set up little points because at one point, once we're pushed on. They're going to send a Galactic Colossus this way, and I want to be able to take it out. Because it's going to be a pain. Alright, so the Assault Tank. That is the Blaze, and it's it's pretty good. It's a hovercraft, and it has a, uh, rapid, a rapid fire assault gun. So it's pretty good. So you're playing Civ 5, huh? Uh, what nation were you actually playing as there, Crossbow? I was Russia. I started out with two silver and one gem. Well, that is absolutely lucky. Wow, that's you don't get more luckier than that. Um, last time I played, I think I don't remember what civilization it was. It's one of the newer ones. It's one of the newer ones. Uh, I was playing as Japan, and when I started off, I had um. I had like three silk and I, I can't remember what else but I had a little bit around me I didn't have you know silver and gems but I had silk so there's that Yeah, I really want to get some artillery online, but I don't want it to destroy. <laughs> oh, 
Wow, they're almost done. Six more. Sweet. Once these are online, then we can actually start building some good forces. Tech one is... Eh, past that, I think it's good. <clears throat> Now let's turn him to off. Because if we don't, he's going to target that. And we're going on to the next one. And I really don't want to do that yet. <clears throat> so we're going to get a couple engineers. So they can help out with the, spring, with the commander. Ooh, let's turn him off quickly, quickly. Tactical missiles. Well, that could be fun. I'm off. Once I get this set up, I'm gonna, we'll be getting ready to go. Turn that off. Actually, we don't want to build in here. <clears throat> stop, stop, stop. Get it back that reclaim back then what we're gonna do is where is my where you got God, so much green there he is get them people over there when you're done get in the transport We actually have quite a few people watching. Welcome, everybody. I'm glad you guys are actually enjoying the stream and giving a chance to come and watch me. Whoa. Hang on a second there, Turbos. We don't need you guys shooting quite yet. Let's get to the next tech level, which gives us... Heavy assault bots, which have shields, and they can uh, grab reclaim, which gives you resources. So good for that. And then we get shield disruptor, which uh, sh it's like an artillery piece. It doesn't do much damage against regular units, but if they have shields, it just rips the shields apart. And then we have the regular mobile heavy artillery. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. All right, I think, <clears throat> there I go thinking again. I think we're okay to proceed onward. I'm actually gonna hold off on building a lot more of these. Nope, nope, keep, 
keep building that. And once he is done, I'm then gonna build a lot. A lot of what? Don't know, but a lot. Uh, we're just gonna need more AA over here. And then these guys will go finish. Actually, we could probably turn them on. Turn fire, fire. Well, all batteries commence firing. Oh, this is going to be big. Let's be ready. They're just out of range, okay. That thing's not gonna live. Good, but think about the um, uh, the Aeon's artillery. It has a little bit of an impact, but it shoots out uh, fire plasma everywhere and just like, pretty much matches the plasma napalm. And it just covers the area and just burns it. So it's very good against area of effect and just holding down an area. But initial impact, not so good. Now I'm going to need more artillery. Because if that Galactic Colossus comes That's around, I want a lot. Proceed inland, HQ out. Constable Graham is on the horn. I'm patching him through. Commander, order units have overwhelmed most of our defenses. We've been cut off from Fort Clark, and General Fletcher is unable to get reinforcements to us. We need your help. Yeah, right? Change in plans, Commander. Fletcher is going to have to hold Fort I agree, Clark a crossbow. bit longer on his own. You will defend the civilians and eradicate any enemy forces in the area. Now we'll do kind of what we did last time is we'll take out most of it on this and then we'll move, we'll build up and move the next one. I'm probably gonna lose one. We're giving you the swift wind. The yes! Range fighter jet. Visa out. Finally you give me what I've been needing. Okay, so the swift wind is what I've been waiting for. Ow, I hit my foot. I haven't lost one yet! Holy cow. Comes the beam to death. Y'all die. Okay, so these guys got really hurt, but we did hell off. We took out all their almost all their production, so this base should be okay for now. Um, I'm going to back my troops up, bring them on back home. And what we could do is send up some reinforcements up there to help hold that position. Which we just might. Okay, you've got all the engineers? Not all yet. Okay. Uh, we're going to probably have to need to build an air base up here. Come on, guys. Where are you at? over the ocean 
So as you can see, they only have a little bit um, actually producing now. So the a AI holding this base could actually hold this. And just tech uh, one units. Well, some tech two. See, here we go, the combat fighter. I love this thing. Almost all the engineers. See if I can actually make one of these. If they'll work. It's a com pretty much a kamikaze. It's a guided missile. Not a lot of fuel. Yep, it worked. Awesome. I didn't think those things still worked. Because I remember when in the uh, first game, uh, they had 30 seconds of fuel. So pretty much when you spawn them, they got to immediately go to the target or else it's just it's not even worth it. Okay, so let's build a transport from here. And then we will send up a few, a couple engineers and we'll set down some, uh, oh, we actually got things covering that. Uh, we'll set down an engineer or two. Build up a shield generator, something just to kind of hold the line so we can prepare. Because I don't want them to lose for some reason. It'd be really stupid if they did. Okay. Uh, stop. It's probably better if I just focus on one. All these things, oh yeah, they're cool looking. All right, now they're going. See, much faster. Guy, just line up. Well, I like that uh, crossbow. Plasma is a cool word. Anything with the word plasma is just cool. Yeah, I agree. I'm not going to be able to hold off for that long. Good thing backup's on the way.
All right, so we got the shield up, and we're going to have a couple of guns. So should be more than enough to hold off whatever this AI sends their way. Now I can focus on the bigger stuff. Let's stay. I want you to build me more of these. Actually, could I? Yes, I can. Yes! You know what that means. Let's build a lot of them! Ah, uh, five of these things? It's insane. It's absolutely insane. It's gonna take about two minutes to build one. Oh, man. Things just got good. They take a lot of resources to build, but if you can make them, definitely way to go. My favorite land unit in this game would have to be, it's called, its nickname is called the Fat Boy. It's a mobile factory with battleship guns on it and anti-air guns and Gatling guns with a portable shield generator and it go underwater and when it's underwater it shoots torpedoes I think I don't know that might be just a mod but you know what I mean this it's insane all right with these right here it should be plenty I mean I don't need a lot if I have to I'll put more down Actually, what are they, uh, Tech 3 guys? I want to check something. Uh, I'll take the Tech 1 guys over here and help out. So it can do pretty much anything I expected to do my laundry. No, but it could pump out Tech 3 Titan. Uh, and, uh, it could pump out Tech 3 units. And I'll, Oh, there's one other thing. It also has air staging area. So when your, sh your fighters need to repair and refuel and rearm. Well, not rearm, but just repair and refuel. They can land on it and get that and leave. So almost anything. Almost. But enough. And I would usually build about five of those and just slowly march towards the enemy. Because remember, the battleship guns, they fire really, they're almost like repeating auto cannons. But they're shooting huge projectiles and they just spray them everywhere and you just, you, nothing lives. Now, if I could, oh, I wonder, is there any engineer? Yes, there is an engineer. Please let me get this. <gasps> Will you? Dang it! Dang it! Can it? Tech 3 units do my laundry. How about the planes? Is he think? No, no. Do your own laundry. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are awesome. All right, one Galactic Colossus ready to go. All right, they're doing much better. Hot. 
two. Oh, this is gonna be good. All right, with these guys, we'll start clearing out all this. I think three is gonna be enough. Honestly, three of these things are insane. Because what these things have is they have the beam that comes out of their this little eyeball, and it almost instantly destroys anything it touches. It's like the weapon from War of the Worlds, just done, and it swipes across the battlefield. So things just get destroyed. And its hands are magnets, so it picks up units and smacks them into things and destroys them. It can't fight against air units, but anything else on the ground, or any naval units it can reach, they're done. guys over there all right now all you guys get on the commander we're gonna build more of these I think we're in a good spot right now that we can end this fight. Well, move on to the next one. Because what could possibly go wrong? We're going to save it. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Everything. nothing the civilians are safe I am forever in your debt commander operation area expanded like here we go sending out the welcome wagon Oh, great. Assuming you live through this, head up there and destroy <laughs> Assuming you live through and this. Uh, well, this is going to be bad. It's going to be very, very bad. You have 
abandoned your people, your heritage, and your gods. For that, you will be destroyed. Bring it you on, ladies. You have the way with your fanaticism. For that, you will be destroyed. All these guys are heading towards my base. Oh, yay. Got a galactic colossus heading your way. Deal with it. HQ out. Send these guys back to the base to cover the base. The Vaptic Glosses is right there. Watch him down quickly. Commander is moving sniper bots into position. They're quick and pack a punch, but their armor isn't worth a damn. HQ out. Uh oh, Commander, move! Commander, move! No! <laughs> Commander, move! Guys, you're stopping the commander! Get the hell out of the way! Get the hell out of the way! No! No, 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 That was close. All right. <laughs> well, you live this far, you'll be fine. Right? <laughs> barely. Absolutely barely. Barely, barely, barely made it through. How alive are these things? Okay, I need them all to group up. Okay. I need y'all to stop. Stop. And build. Build. Need a couple of spy planes. Is, is it that hard? Okay, so now we can send our Galactic Colossus back at them. You saw what one of those things did. It takes a lot of firepower to bring one down. So we're going to put that shield back up. I mean, all these guns were firing all out of it once. And it took all that fire from here all the way to here and barely had half its life gone. That's... That's how strong these things are. Now, I'm sending three back at them. With a lot of support. Mm. Alright. Send out the scouts. I want to know where their commander is. Come and go snipe. Get it over with. Because once you're done with this, we got one more. Stop. There she is. Oh, 
Oh, you're a little sniper bots, huh? You think you think you're tough? Nope. Oh, they're not. They're shooting up my guys back there. That's so messed up. Okay, get closer. Yeah, they have a lot of freaking sniper bots here. Sniper bots are pretty good at taking. Well, they can stay out of range of this thing anyway. Whatever that is, that's a lot of it. And I don't like that. I think that's her right there. That's where she was. Nope, there she is. Take out uh, Gari. Gari? Yeah, that's her name. Bye! You will never reach Fort Clark. She can't repel that firepower. Oh, the firepower of that magnitude. Will never be defeated. Boom! Pretty colors. Kale will rage when she learns of this. Glory to the princess. Rise out. All right. <laughs> Fort Clark is located to the northwest, and the Seraphim commander is to the northeast. That alien is probably pretty ticked off that you killed his little sweetheart, so be ready for anything. Yeah. Fort now, Clark the Seraphim are a whole new ballgame of horror and just you don't want to fight. About time. Lot harder. The Seraphim is east of Fort Clark and it's got a bunch of experimentals. Make yourself useful and try to distract them. What is it? He does not know your worth, champion. Show him our might by defeating the Seraphim and its units yourself. Ryza out. Looks like that alien is launching a nuke. Flight trajectory indicates it's heading toward the town to the east. HQ out. Damn. Strategic launch detected. And there's nothing I can do to help him. Shut up, you alien bastard. Yeah, um, let me pause real quick. Yeah, she is actually a friendly. Uh, the Aeon is split into two different factions. There's the Loyalists, which is technically what my character is. And they fight for the princess. And then there's these ones that worship these aliens that are, within two years, almost wiped out all of humanity throughout the galaxy. And they worship them as gods. And now we have here. There you go. My Galactic Colossus are getting doomed. Commander, I could use a hand over here. I'm getting hit pretty hard. Working on it. Do what we did last time. I'm going to put some guns down. their fleet. I don't really want to fight it. Now they're trying to hold the line. The Seraphim have so many Tough units. I mean, this siege bot has so much health. Or siege tank. It's ridiculous. Come on, guys. Just hold out a little longer. Help's on the way. In fact, I'm going to set my things up there to help out. Just go straight in. Straight in. 
no turning. Oh, because they cannot last much longer. Yeah, screw you, Slamo. Drop, drop, drop. Get on the ground, get on the ground. Get out of the way. Yeah, that's Correlation HQ right there. Come on, guys. Hold them off just a little bit longer. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. You go down. We all go down. Please, please hurry up and get in here. Now, what I'm going to try to do is probably gutsy stupid and probably won't even work. But what I'm going to do is try to sneak my guys up here and swing around. And then hopefully we can find the commander and snipe him. Go, 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 go. Don't stop, don't stop. You stop, we die. There goes one. He's going down. Where is that commander? Where is that commander? Where is their commander? That alien freak is starting to soften. Hit it again. There he is. Get him, guys. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes! Well, the commander's dead. Now we gotta worry about his two giant experimentals. But other than that, their build capacity's gone. No more nukes for them. Maybe they'll think twice before attacking like that again. HQ Good job. Out. HQ out. Nice. Nice. All enemy forces have been defeated and Fort Clark is safe. Well done, Commander. 
This is an important victory for us. <sighs> I was trying to speed through that. You try to not deal with experimentals, it takes a lot longer. Our backs were against the wall, but you did it, Commander. Fort Clark is safe, and we achieved an important victory against those damn aliens and their allies. From this day forward, we're through running from them. If we're going to survive this, we have to be able to take the fight directly to our enemies. And that's what we're going to do. Haul out. Wow, that was cool. So, y'all enjoy that? <laughs> that was fun. Uh, see what time is it? Okay. Um, I'm probably going to take a little break. Um, I'll be back maybe. In, I don't know. I have to see what's going on. But uh, if I don't come back, there will be a stream tomorrow. Definitely a stream tomorrow. I, want, I love streaming, but I want to take a little break, stretch out my legs, and then when we come back in, say, 10 minutes, we might play something else, maybe Supreme Commander, maybe something else, who knows? Till then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next stream.